Hey guys, back again. I know it's been a while, but we're still working on a sprite here. I made this image quite some time ago, but just now got around to editing the video. But this time, I want to do something a little bit different, give myself a little bit of a challenge. I want to do a first person point of view image here. Things like Doom, Heretic, Skyrim, just those first person point of view video games that I haven't really ventured into or tried to really step into in terms of making pixel art before. I thought it might just be a fun challenge, but you can see here that I'm working in something with one point perspective. If you don't know what one point perspective is, it essentially is just having one point in the middle of the page, having all lines converge on that one point just to make it look like something is going away from you. I just use that here to kind of lay out the general brick pattern and kind of just make it appear as if we're looking down a long corridor to kind of just give ourselves a setting to make it feel like we're underground. Speaking of being underground, the main inspiration for this image actually came from a screenshot that I saw for a game that I've never played before but I thought was really interesting in terms of its aesthetic it was a game called Ultima Underworld. I'll put that on a picture of that on the screen now, like a screenshot of that. I really inspired this image. I think you'll see the direct inspirations of that kind of thing on this image as a whole. But all in all, I just thought it was a really interesting image and I just thought that it was something that I would like to uh, continue in the direction of. So then here, I'm just trying to find ways to fill up the space to make it feel a bit more like an inventory screen. In my head, whenever I was working on this image, probably what I had most in mind was the inventory and the interface screens for things like RuneScape. Just because that's what I spent the most time looking at in general. Whenever I was growing up, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and days um, and parts of years of my life playing that game. But uh, yeah, I just thought of that whenever I was trying to fill the space with this. Um, another thing that I added here in this image, and you'll see this in the final image whenever it's animated, is the character portrait here in the corner of the screen. This obviously is more of a direct inspiration from things like Doom, just because I liked whenever you play Doom and you take damage and you take hits and you interact with the enemies, that your character has a visual look to them in terms of how much damage they receive. And I always thought that was really interesting because you don't always get to look at the front of the character, especially whenever you are the character. So I thought it was just unique to be able to kind of get a look at what are and also see the impact that that's having on you and interacting with this enemy that you'll see a little bit later down the road. Here I suppose I'm just stating the obvious, but I was just adding buttons for attack and defend. Here as I start the next part of this, this is really what I wanted to explain. I started this off as like a character inventory screen so you could see what the character had or was wielding, but then it actually just turned into a map. So you can kind of see it looks like a person because it was supposed to be a person to begin with, but as all things happen, your brain kind of takes different directions and you learn to just go with the flow. So I turned it into kind of like a top-down view of a map and also wanted to add some other little elements to kind of reference things like an MMO or tuning in to an online space just because, I don't know, I just think it's nice to have those little elements that make it feel a little bit more retro, that kind of make it feel like there is a community there that really isn't there here in these pixel art pieces. Kind of just gives it a sense of warmth, makes me feel at home in the MMOs that I've played whenever I was a kid, makes it feel more like me.
one thing that you've definitely seen a lot of in the course of this video is me using the symmetry tool. I'm using it right here in this part of the video. I talked about that in a previous video and how it can help you and make your life a lot easier. I think that it's just an easy way to make sure things are accurate on both sides without really, you know, stressing. I'll put a link for the video on, that talks about that and how to get started with pixel art in a little card up above here on the screen, but I'll also put it below the video. I will say, and even watching myself in this footage, it's kind of interesting even for me to see the areas that I put these different colors and how I build them up to create depth. Uh, it's just strange just because I know that a year ago or two years ago, I didn't really understand that as well. And it's interesting to just think about how your skills build up progressively and how things change and your understanding changes. It just is an interesting thing to see. So if you're wondering how I know where to put these things, I, I don't know how I know. It's just something that I kind of have acquired along the way. Like anything, this is all just practice. This. So just take heart in the fact that eventually you'll understand too, and I, I don't really understand why I know, but <laughs> just thought it was a fun thing to point out. Approaching the tail end of the video here, I don't really get into the animation process on this specific piece, but here it is the final version. I'm really happy with how it turned out, just kind of as an experiment on little pieces and parts and how they all work together. It was fun to kind of mess with something new from a different perspective, but I'm satisfied with it. And I feel like I say that at the end of every video, but especially this one, especially this one, just because it was something new, something different, and it referenced a lot of the things that I loved the most growing up whenever I was playing games as a kid. But if you liked the video, like it. If you want more like this, you can subscribe. This is the first video in a while, but I hope to make it more common. It's been kind of busy as of lately, but hopefully we can find more time for more new stuff. But thanks guys. I appreciate you sticking around this long and I will see you later.